Welcome to the Valareso Capital Community, where we discuss the stock market and trading strategies to become a consistently profitable trader and investor. Hey traders, welcome back to Valareso Capital. My name is Francisco, and on this video, we're going to go through the weekly watch list, and we're also going to take a look at the market update. Also, guys, I'm going to go through I'm going to show you a tool that I have been using lately that has helped me a lot creating a high probability assessment of the short term movements from for a, for an equity. So we're going to dive deeply into that tool. And then, of course, we're going to take a look at the SPX and I'm going to show you some of the names that I'm looking to trade next week and also some of the positions that I already have open. Uh, remember, guys, that this video is for informational purposes only is based just on my personal opinion and is not financial advice. And if at any moment of this video guys you find any value remember to subscribe to the channel that is really going to help the channel to continue to grow to continue to reach more people so that they can actually use this information for their trading so let's jump here into the let's jump here into the action of the spx and i really want to cover the tool that i'm using let me just go into here and and this tool is going to be the tool by gamma edge so actually a pretty, pretty amazing tool. Uh, I have been using it for, for, for almost a month now. And it, it is actually pretty interesting because I have been looking to learn more about the, how the options structure of the, how the options structure actually affect the movement of the prices in the, in the equities that we tend to trade. So I was looking at some, I tried some other services, but really Gamma Edge is an amazing, amazing service in which they make it super accessible for anyone who's new to this information because I was really new to the information about options. I have trading options. I have traded options in the past, but I have never looked at how the structure of the options itself provide a lot of high probability support and resistance levels for the market. So we're going to dive into this tool right now. So first thing that I want to cover, because I'm going to I'm going to be including this tool a lot uh, when I'm doing reviews and when I'm looking for setups. So I really want to make sure that the community understand kind of the basics that I'm looking for in this tool. So the first thing that we're going to cover and I'm going to make sure to do a, a separate video about this. So I'm just going to try to cover it really quickly. That way we don't we don't use a lot of time. So first of all, we have this very huge level. This is going to be the this is going to be kind of the positive what they call the positive gex G E A G E X. And basically, I just want you for now to think about this level as a huge level of resistance. And these levels is actually pretty interesting because these levels their 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 resistance level, their supply levels, but they also they also tend to act as magnets for price. And the moment that they tend to act as magnets is when the when actually the price is above this transition zone which is this box right down here so right now this transition box that we had uh, was here below was right here at 5070 all the way to 5020 and basically what the transition zone is is just the is is just the level before everything before all the before all the levels above it become gamma positive by nature and, and, and by volume. So that means that most of the expirations that we're going to have above it are going to be gamma positive. So that's actually pretty interesting because as long as the market continues to hold this 570 level, then we're going to tend to see more bullish tendencies in the, in the, in the price action of the market. And of course, I'm going to be looking to make a separate video about this. So remember guys, just remember for now, this level 5,200 right now, we're trading somewhere around 5,135 and we continue to be above this transition zone, which is at 5,070. So now that you have that information, let's take a look and let's go back to the to the to the chart that we have right here in the SPX so we are here back at trading view so what is really interesting here is that if you remember the levels right this 5200 is going to be what we're calling the positive gex and this is actually going to be a huge level of resistance of course but it's actually probably going to be a really nice target if the market continues to break to the upside so when you actually join together these levels with price action patterns, they tend to be extremely powerful. So you can see right here that as the close of Friday, we 
continue to be above this transition zone. And if you remember the transition zone that we were taking a look at was at 5,070, right? It was, a, it was at 5,070 all the way to, to 5,020, right? So that's gonna be the transition zone that we're looking. And what is really interesting is, is that as long as we continue to hold the transition zone, then I'm looking for higher prices here in the SPX. And then of course, if we just, let me just erase this, if we just look at the patterns, you're gonna see right here that we had a pretty, pretty nice bull flag, right? We had this huge gap to the upside. We have this bull flag right here. But if you're only looking at the bull flag, then of course it's gonna provide uh, an, actionable, uh, an actionable setup for you to, to take. But when you are actually looking at the, at the option positioning, at least for me, it gives me way more confidence, way more confidence to actually build my position size and, and trade uh, and trade with more confidence, with more size in the direction of the trend, because I can create a really high probability thesis that as long as the market continues to hold above this transition zone, then I'm gonna be look then I'm gonna be looking for higher prices. And then of course the, the, the path can be a little bit choppy, right? We probably we're gonna go all the way to 5050. Then perhaps we're gonna chop a little bit around it before reaching that 5200. And if at any point we have a change in sentiment, then the levels in that tool are gonna change. But as long as those levels continue to hold like this, then I'm looking for higher prices. So that's basically what the what the update of the market is gonna be. I don't think that we have to complicate it that much. The SPX is heading higher and I'm heading and, and I'm and I'm placing my trades in the direction of the part of least resistance which is to the upside. So that's gonna be it for the SPX. And now, as usually, we tend to we tend to take a look at, at some other corners of the market. Of course, you know, guys, that I love watching the QQQs. And what is really interesting about the Qs here is that we kind of have we have the same thing, right? I'm not gonna show you the not gonna show you the the information in the in the in the Gamma Edge uh, website as well, because I don't want this video to go super, super long. But basically, guys, you remember that the transition zone is gonna be this gray zone that I have here. So as long as we continue to be above this transition zone, you can see that we had a really, really strong move to the upside. And now we are starting to come into this level of resistance, which is 545. Uh, that level can update if the price continues to move higher. It's re actually really interesting to see how that level updates and continue to move higher. That's actually pretty bullish. But of course, if we just continue to be above this level and the big gamma level continues to be above that, then we're probably just going to continue to see a squeeze, what a lot of people call a gamma squeeze. We're probably going to continue to see a squeeze here in the queues. This is actually looking pretty, pretty bullish. You can see right here that the setup was pretty similar. We had this gap to the upside. We were testing this all-time high. And then, of course, we had a really nice flag. And now we're continuing we have this continuation to the upside and everything, everything, everything is looking extremely, extremely bullish for the Qs and for the SPX. Now, something that I want to show you is going to be the setups that I'm going to be watching for next week. And I really want to keep things very, very simple. I do have some trades here in these names that I'm going to show you. And the first one is going to be here is going to be Microsoft. And Microsoft is actually looking pretty amazing. You can see right here that we have a squeeze right? If you are a student of the squeeze like myself, you know that I love to see these squeezes in price. That means that we had a lot of contraction in terms of the Bollinger Bands. And then we tend to see, basically in summary, we tend to see really strong moves after we have these contractions. So Microsoft is looking awesome. Of course, you can see right here that I have the transition zones and I have the gamma zones here already. We are above the transition zone. And this is something that I was talking on my Twitter account. You can actually see the post uh, when I posted about this. I was actually looking for Microsoft and I was looking for Microsoft to get above this level and actually start going. So this is actually pretty bullish. Everything about here, everything above this level is gamma positive. So I'm expecting a move to the upside. It's actually pretty easy, right? So I'm expecting at least a test of this 4, 000, uh, 420 level. I actually do have a trade. I opened my position at 400.20. And my first stop was at 400 of 403, but right now I'm raising my stop to this low right here. And then perhaps on Monday, I'm just going to raise my stop to break even and just let this trade continue to work. Looking awesome. I do think that you can buy it here. Of course, it's not a great price like buying at the moving averages, but as long as Microsoft continues to hold above this fight, a 410 level, then I'm, I'm expecting higher prices here. DIA is going to be one of my favorite setups. 
we you can see right here that we do have this flag right pretty pretty easy pretty pretty easy flag to spot you can see right here that we had these let me just get my drawing tools you can see right here that we have these this gap to the upside pretty similar to the other indexes and you can see right here that we had this trend line uh, breakout but of course we continue to be below that transition zone so for now this is most likely going to act as resistance but if we happen to get above it then i'm looking for a quick move all the way to that gamma level to that positive gex which is actually at 395 so that's what we going to be looking for the dia looking pretty pretty fantastic uh, another name that i'm looking is going to be tesla and what i really like about tesla here is that we are already above that transition zone remember that we were talking about the transition zone in the in the spx which basically means if we are above this level right here everything above that level is gamma positive so what i'm looking for is and you can see right here how amazingly tesla has been holding this level which is actually pretty pretty bullish we do have a really big exposure of gamma right here at 202.50 if we happen to get above it then i'm expecting a squeeze and most likely that that squeeze is going to come all the way to that 50 daily moving average so this is going to be kind of a of a short-term swing trade i do have a position that i open at one a one 199.91 99 <laughs> 91 uh, dollars my first stop was right here at 194 but i actually raised it somewhere around this 197 uh, range so i'm actually looking for a really nice move here this one is looking pretty pretty awesome and then finally another name that i have currently is going to be arm what is actually really interesting about arm here is that it is actionable as of now uh, what I really like about it is that you have this DTL, right? You have this really nice trend line that is coming here. And I like how this is starting to get really, really tight, right? You can also draw another trend line if you like somewhere around here. But as of now, I'm looking at the expo at the at the positioning in the in the options market. And you can see that as long as we continue to hold above this box right here, everything above it is gonna be gamma positive. And what i'm what i'm looking is actually a really nice squeeze that is probably going to take us somewhere around this 164 level the way that i look for these lines here if you are new to the channel i use fibonacci so basically the only thing that i'm doing is i'm just running a fibonacci extension from this high right here to this low right here and that's how i'm finding those levels so let me actually show you here here is the fibonacci tool and let me just change it really quickly to the template that I have for Fibonacci. And you can see right here, let me show you my template. It's gonna be, I have the 0618, that's gonna be the retracement. And then I have the extension that is gonna be the 1.618. And that's the that's how I run those Fibonacci's. So basically I just come to this high right here, I pop it, and then I click it all the way to this down, to this downswing right here. And then that extension gives me my target, which is gonna come somewhere around 160. So that's the trade that I'm looking into trading arm. This one is also looking pretty, pretty nice. So I don't wanna make this a really long video, guys. Those are gonna be four setups that I'm actually involved. Uh, for the DIA, I'm involved with the 3X ETF, which is UDOW, which is UDAO. So I'm, all, I'm already trading it uh, that way. And then are gonna, these are gonna be other setups that I'm watching. So if at any point guys of this video you find any value remember to subscribe and i will see you on future videos have an amazing weekend and bye bye